Jubilee and ODM parties are now considering disciplinary action against MPs who defied President Uhuru Kenyatta and NASA leader Raila Odinga's orders and went ahead and voted against the president's memorandum on the then finance bill. This even as a section of legislators in the opposition have already hatched a plot to oust John Addy as the minority leader in the National Assembly on grounds of incompetence and lacking ideological identity. In our weekly segment, House of Cards, our senior political affairs reporter Chris Thairu looks at some of the disciplinary measures likely to be taken against the rebel members. They exhibited anger, fury, and even issued threats to the House leadership. During the acrimonious debate on the President's memorandum on the finance bill. Since in your opposition, Mimi the deputy party leader for Kenya, totally poor, to the streets. And close to two weeks now, the anger and threats seem to have faded and the members retreated to their silent corners. None of them has ever moved to court or organized a protest challenging the president's memorandum as they had earlier threatened. Were they just saying it for the sake of pleasing their electorate then? And now, most of these members risk facing disciplinary action for defying their party leaders. When it happens that uh, some members defy the position of the party, then um, the first thing is to find out why did this happen. So definitely is a matter of concern and definitely it is a matter we're going to address. In a matter as important as a budgetary matter, political parties world over take decisions and stick with it. And um, our members who disregarded the party position uh, showed disloyalty to the party. While ODM plans to hold a meeting with party members soon for the party leader to read the riot act against rebel members, Jubilee plans to write show cost letters to the renegades. For you to form a government, you need members of parliament. And for you to carry out your leg legislative uh, agenda, pass bills, including the finance bill, you need numbers inside the house. That's how democracy works. What we will do as a party is just to again mobilize and have a meeting with our members and remind them of the importance of uh, sticking with party positions and party unity. Among the disciplinary action that can be meted against renegade members include sanctioning them and removing them from some of the powerful house committees as well as asking them to publicly apologize in front of their party leaders. The party needs to invoke some disciplinary measures on members who refuse to follow the guidelines of the party. Uh, you know political parties cannot thrive if there's no discipline. As much as I was on the no team, I had my reason to, to vote against the president's memorandum. But we made it very clear to our party leader that we respect him, we respect his views. But on this one, he allows us to stand with Kenyans. And he did. I think it is a wrong strategy because uh, we did this for the interest of our people. We did not do this to rebel our party leader's position or the party's uh, ideology. On the other hand, Kilifi North MP Owen Bayer has written to ODM party leader Raila Odinga seeking the removal of John Badi as minority leader in the National Assembly. Bayer, who is the party's deputy organizing secretary, wants Badi removed on grounds of incompetence and lack of an ideological identity. And uh, NASA equally took a decision the PG, a decision I had a responsibility uh, to uh, execute and which I did. So, so whoever is uh, complaining or being failed, I think is the one who probably failed the leadership. As far as I'm concerned, John Buddy did very well. Uh, he used all manners of tricks and ensured that the party resolution passed through the house. So anybody who thinks that he can host John Buddy is daydreaming. John Buddy is there to stay. I, I think uh, it's unwarranted. It's not uh, really because Badi was acting uh, first on the interests of the party. 
Secondly, from his own conscience, probably he believed that uh, that VAT as a member of parliament representing Suba, maybe the people of Suba told him to air their views. The positions of majority and minority in parliament can only be changed when majority of the party members make a decision with or without the blessings of the party leader. Members of the National Assembly resume their sittings this Tuesday from a one-month recess. Chris Dairo, KTN News.